What up everybody? Instructor Boots back again with our video two of our multiplication playlist, multiplying four digit factors by a one digit factor. Again, focused on using the standard algorithm. If you want to learn how to do the partial products open array, please check out our instructional video on that. But this of course goes along with our standard algorithm song, which we also hope you'll check out. So our objective today is I will be able to multiply four digit factors by a one digit factor by using the standard algorithm. So conceptually, what we're doing when we multiply, right? And I'm gonna write this out using expanded form. I always like to start conceptually so we can understand what we're doing because really the standard algorithm is kind of a shortcut that works because we're a base 10 number system and it's pretty easy to regroup with those things. Um, but really what's happening when you multiply is you are multiplying an eight in the ones place by 3,800 and, well not in, 3,834. So this is kind of like you would do on an open array um, or a partial product. Eight times four, of course, would be 32, right? And then we're gonna regroup the 30 over here, okay? And we have eight times 30, which would be 240 plus 30 would be 270. And so we have our 70 here, but we have to regroup our 200 over here, okay? And then eight times 800 would be 6,400, plus two would be 6,600. So we need to regroup the 6,000 over here, and then we have our leftover 600 here, right? And then we have eight times 3,000, which is 24,000, but we wanna add our 6,000 to that, which actually makes it 30,000. And so we would basically have regroup our 30,000 over here, if we were doing this kind of conceptually, which means we have nothing left here. And then eight times zero would be zero, plus 30 would be 30,000. So it's kind of important to see what we're doing um, instead of just memorizing something, we always kind of want to wonder why it works and see why it works. And so obviously when you wrote this in standard form, you wouldn't need that zero right there. So you'd have a three in the 30 thousandths place, a six, sorry, a three in the 10 thousandths place, a six in the hundreds place, a seven in the tens place, and a two in the ones place. And our product would be 30,672. So, how do I multiply big numbers? Same steps that we saw in the first video of our playlist. Line it up starting with the decimal, multiply from right to left, one's place to whatever the bigger place values are at the, to the left, circle what you carry or regroup, and then add it right after you multiply. So multiply, then add. So here's the same problem, um, but instead of doing it in expanded form, conceptually kind of seeing what we're doing, we're just gonna do it in standard form because it's a lot faster. Um, but it's important, again, to know what you're doing and why it works rather than just doing it because you memorized it. So 8 times 4 is 32. I regroup my 3 over my 10's place, which if you remember was really 3 groups of 10. 8 times 3 is 24 plus 3 is 27. So I'm going to regroup my 2 over my 100's place. 8 times 8 is 64 plus 2 was 66. And so I'm going to regroup my six tens, or six groups of a, um, a thousand really, over my thousands place, and then eight times three is 24, plus six is 30, and we get the same answer of 30,672. So you can see it's a lot faster when you do the standard algorithm, but you don't really understand the place values when you do it this way, so we always wanna take our time to remember that. So we're gonna do a U try, okay? So use your commutative property, put your bigger number on top, and then once you get done, um, see how you did with your answer. If you feel confident you got it right, go ahead and stop the video. If you haven't got it yet with your growth mindset, go ahead and keep watching for more practice. But go ahead and pause the video and try this problem. So I have 6,239 that I'm gonna put on top, and I'm gonna multiply that times five, so I wanna line my place values up for right now. And I'm gonna go from right to left. So five times nine is 45. Okay, it's so important that you know your basic facts. Regroup my four. Five times three is 15, plus four is 19. So regroup my one from my tens place. 
5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Regroup your 1. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1 is 31. And then we can put our comma here. So our product would be 31,195. If you got that, you feel confident with your regrouping, you know what to do, go ahead and stop it and work on whatever your teacher would like you to work on. If you're not there yet, go ahead and keep watching for more practice. So we have another one here. We have 1,034 times 4. It's our last one. So go ahead and try it. Push play and see how you did. So hopefully you paused it and you tried it out. So I have 1,234 times 4. And I'm going to be going from right to left. So 4 times 4 is 16. Regroup my 1 to my tens place. Multiply then add. So 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13. So carry my 1 or regroup my 1 and multiply then add. So 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. I haven't gone past 10 so there's no need to regroup. 4 times 4 is, sorry, 4 times 1 is 4 and my product would be 4,936. So go ahead and um, check your answer, see how you did. As always, check us out on YouTube at Instructed Beats Official. You can follow us on Instagram at, at Instructed Beats. Please check out our other songs. Please check out our standard algorithm song to help you remember the steps that you might have learned today. And feel free to check out the next video um, coming up in our playlist. Instructed Beats, out!